the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The mighty things that God is doing in our midst, believe me, you cannot imagine the testimonies. Hallelujah. I sent one testimony to the leaders that happened on Saturday after the miracle service. Hallelujah. And the testimony, a lady, 39 years. How many years? 39 years. No suitor. She finished school at a 28 for 11 years. No job. Hallelujah. After the miracle service, she sent us a text that by Wednesday, they were calling her to come for a job. And a man came the next day that he wants to marry her. Let me tell you something. The laws of the kingdom work. Are you hearing me? They work. Hallelujah. Now hear the humbling testimonies. The mighty testimonies of the things that God is doing. That our brother came here at age 41. 41. Where you think there is no hope. At age 41, many women have finished giving birth. But at age 41, the Bible says, Is there hope for a tree, though it be cut short? He said at the scent of water praise the lord we thank god for what he's doing in our midst mighty mighty things you cannot imagine let me tell you we don't take up to maybe one fifth of the testimonies that happen either because of time or because a few people don't share them and all of that we get messages upon messages telling us the mighty things mighty things that God is doing and to him be all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ I'll preach very briefly and then we'll pray hallelujah the Lord put a very hot message in my spirit I'm like a pregnant woman right now and by the grace of God will deliver safely we must deliver safely this night hallelujah praise the lord we must deliver safely satan notwithstanding praise the lord the reality of heaven and hell part one the reality of heaven and hell you will be shocked this night part one part one Everybody say after me, heaven is real. Shout it, heaven is real. Say after me, hell is real. Say one more time, hell is real. Shout it so that those listening to this message, wherever, will know you are not playing. Say heaven is real. Hell is real. Hallelujah. Now, I think it was last week. We were talking with our daddy prof and he was just sharing with me a few concerns little did he know that that was the area that god had been speaking to me to preach on um there have been many books and tapes right now flying around is that true about different people chinese people nigerians and all kinds of people who went to heaven came back went to hell and brought back messages gospels doctrines packages deliveries that were perceived to have been received from god or angels or saints of old 
some of them met with all kinds of people some of them were permitted to go into ages to come or ages past this night we are going to be examining it hallelujah this is part one so i'm just going to be buttressing on the reality of heaven and hell this is a message you must listen to if you don't like this kind of messages sorry for you you know god knows how to get you you now took the communion and then he said now sit down and listen hallelujah there are many words in scripture that were translated hell um i'll just mention four of them sheol is number one s h e o l means the pit please will be very fast shell means a pit number 16 verse 33 and then job 17 16 you can find where this word was used numbers 16 33 we're not reading it we have to rush there's a lot to talk about job 17 verse 16 number two hades it's one of the words that were used the place of the dead it was also interchanged for the word grave hades for instance we see in second chronicles 15 verse 5 it says oh death where is thy sting oh grave that word there is hades the place of the dead hallelujah are you still writing number three tartarus t-a-r-t-a-r-o-s tartarus means a place of eternal torment let's have this one projected if we can second peter 2 verse 4 tartarus one of the words translated it means a place of eternal torment hallelujah a place of eternal torment the fourth is gehenna g-e-h-e-n-n-a g-e-h-e-n-n-a a place of everlasting torment okay let's look at second peter 2 verse 4 he said for if god spared not the angels that sin but cast them down to the word hell there is the word tartarus hallelujah the place of torment he said he delivered them into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment hallelujah very very important what is hell hell is a place of torment for those who are lost and those who die unsaved hell is a place of torment for the lost it's very important i want you to follow me i'm building on something hell is a place of torment when jesus walked upon the earth jesus talked more about hell than he did about heaven hallelujah we are going to examine one of the stories that jesus brought forth i want you to know that hell is a place of torment people have watered it down with our rat race of looking for success statistic tells us i don't know if it's still current that eight people die every second everybody look up instrument stop count eight in your mind ready go stop do you know how many people just died eight times eight 64 people eight people die every second can i tell you something there were some people who woke up in the earth realm this morning as i'm speaking to you now they are hearing me from hell praise the lord so you better take seriously what i'm saying this night hell is real it's a real location it's a real place those who have died without jesus christ business moguls billionaires religious leaders all kinds of people who ever has died without christ i'm telling you now that person is in hell right about now as we speak 
every man in the surface of the earth is going to spend eternity there is nothing like will you spend eternity you will the issue is location eternity is for sure hallelujah you are going to spend eternity the question is whether in heaven or hell there's no in between in the final analysis every inhabitant on the earth today from babies that were born to the oldest man right now we will be separated to two separate places either in hell or heaven if you believe that say amen the subject of heaven and hell has been rejected because of many depths and rema that has been coming you hardly find these teachings taught and where they are taught they are taught wrongly but i want you to know there is a place called hell the torment the second thing i want you to know about hell the first thing i told you was hell is real it's a real place we are starting with hell we'll come to heaven the second thing i want you to know is that the torment in hell is not acting is real everybody said the torment is real say one more time the torment is real jesus himself told us this luke 16. let's see the account of jesus the story of lazarus and the rich man luke 16 from verse 23 luke 16 from verse 23 please let me have two people come two people my brother you're already wearing red just stand here you will go to heaven you make it here or stand here <laughs> hallelujah the bible tells us listen that in this earth realm there were certain people one was called the rich man is that true and there was another man who was called lazarus lazarus was a beggar in this earth realm the rich man was wealthy he was blessed he was fulfilled and the bible says in the course of time according to the wisdom of solomon the same destiny happens to all of them eventually they die let's see the drama many drama groups have acted this but they don't believe it can i tell you something it's not nigerian film right about now there are people being judged hallelujah he says and in hell he the rich man now when you get out of this life your status does not matter again are you hearing what i'm saying the money you gathered in the bank does not matter your educational qualification does not matter the number of wives you married and concubines you had does not matter are you hearing me now the bible says if our hope is only in this world we are of all men most miserable hear the wisdom of the word tonight a time will come nothing that matters in this earth will matter again not your looks not your marriage not your degree a time will come there will not be abu again no more dark no more fc no more nigeria no more politicians no more fighting for oil there will be no, you, there will be free oil on the ground with nobody to take it those who will be around will be too scared running for their lives nobody will mine any oil for anybody can i tell you something a day will come there will be no more koinonia again you will come to this place and find it empty because some of us would have checked out since hallelujah while i was growing up they were very sensible biblical films about heaven and hell that when you watch you sit down and ask yourself and he lifted up his word that means you have eyes in hell hello your eyes will be alive and active in hell that tells me his senses were working in hell is that true the bible didn't say he lifted up his imagination he lifted up his eyes being in what torment a rich man he could not buy freedom he could not lobby his way 
he was in torment the bible says he seeth abraham afar off hallelujah and lazarus at his bosom hallelujah that was a section where those who had died believing the promise and keeping onto the covenant they were it was a section that they were not allowed to be touched because christ had not risen jesus christ needed to be the firstborn among many brethren nobody would have entered before him are you following me he needed to be the firstborn when he came he was the only begotten son but now he is the first begotten of we the brethren hallelujah next verse so here is the rich he said and he cried and said what that means you can identify people is that true there are people that laugh at us today that will see us one day and say joshua say man and i'll just look i'll say my brother the way things are right now you laughed at us and thought we were wasting our time but there is a gulf that divides us forever never to meet again hallelujah it says have what he was begging abraham you will beg many people when you get to hello so you better don't get there you will call the names of people begging he said he begged abraham he said send lazarus the man who you will kick in the earth today if you have everything in this life and you do not have jesus christ you have nothing are you hearing what i'm saying i don't care what qualification i don't care what material benefits i don't care what you have in this life if you do not have jesus a relationship with the lord jesus christ you have multiplied your destiny by zero the bible says that he may dip what the tip of his finger please look up what kind of suffering will make a drop of water an asset you can go to the dam this night and fetch water police will not arrest you is that true if you go to a filling station they'll arrest you water is a free thing in the earth here but the bible says in hell you are buying foil 97 naira you go to hell and ask them how much a drop of water is are you following me this night he said that he may dip the tip of his finger in water the purpose was not to quench thirst the purpose was to cool his tongue that's the mouth that he used to say other people were wasting their time that's the mouth he used to confess his and acknowledge to to, to confess his um his, his oneness with satan and to acknowledge that he does not like god and now that tongue the bible says this tongue has taken people to hell it's like a a wild animal for i am tormented in this flame i know that a lot of musicians have sung and they've taught people that it's better to be a king in hell is that not true continue you will find out whether there is any king in hell those people who have not gone to hell see satan is called a deceiver that somebody is dancing in a movie around fire and nothing happens is film trick let me tell you the truth in hell nobody is joking god satan demons other people who are there nobody can help another person and very soon i tell you very soon this age will wrap up listen to me a day will come when christ comes those who are left behind will hear joshua selman preaching oh yes the messages will still be in laptops somebody will hear it you have the opportunity to hear it right now and take your destiny very serious hear me you can choose to believe what i'm saying or not that is irrelevant if i tell you sir that you are not wearing a red shirt does it change the fact that you are wearing a red shirt everybody will call jesus lord one day 
the problem is for some people it's going to be too late are you hearing what i'm saying this is very very crucial next verse please he said but abraham said son remember that in your lifetime not life eternity life that is bounded by limited time in your lifetime receivers die good things and likewise lazarus evil things but now he is comforted and thou art tormented next verse and beside this between you look at the backdrop media god bless you that's exactly what i want between you between us and you there is a great gulf that is fixed so you can't say this is my tribesman come let me carry you leave the other people no it doesn't matter who you know or who you do not know it says so that they would not pass from hence to you cannot neither can they pass to us that would come from then verse 27 don't forget this is jesus talking about this parable he said then he said so he started praying he said since there is no hope for me please i beg you father that thou wouldest send him to where to where you see the reason why we are serious about family salvation the guy was in hell and he was seen in the earth realm and he was seeing that every member of his family was going to go and join him in hell he said at least look at how the rich man became see the fruit of the spirit walking in him by force in hell only a fool will say in his heart that there is no god next verse please for i have how many brethren five brethren that he may testify unto them that means let him go to hell and come back lest they also come into this place of torment the next verse sir. abraham said they have the law and they have the prophets let them hear let them hear hallelujah this is the rich man this is lazarus hallelujah when they got to hell lazarus was free being comforted the rich man he did not carry one naira he did not carry one certificate he did not carry wife or children he went there alone and the bible says why he cried and lamented he said no they have moses they have the prophets if they will not listen to them it means even if somebody comes they still will not listen are you hearing what i'm saying please follow me as i build tonight bless you sir bless you sir hallelujah the fourth thing i want you to know or the third thing i want you to know for many years listen ha look up i was told something many years ago they said sin is sin everybody will go to the same hell abby as if everybody would just pack them and say this is hell stay there i am going to show you that there are different degrees of punishment in hell not everybody gets everything let me show you hmm. there are different degrees let me tell you the truth matthew 11 let's rush matthew 11 you will love jesus with your life after this message Matthew 11 I praise God I'm going to heaven can't imagine being in hell Matthew 11 verse 20 look at people shouting in hell are you there now listen then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done because they repented not they saw mighty works yet they refused to repent next verse sir. 
He said, Woe unto thee. Jesus is speaking again. Don't forget, Jesus is speaking. I'm showing you the teachings of Jesus so that you do not say, Ah, this is a prophet's teaching or this is no. He says, Woe unto thee, Chorazin. Woe unto thee, Bethsaida. He said, For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. He says, Next verse. But I say unto you, it will be more. It will be more. Is, is that in your Bible? He said, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in that day of judgment. That means your judgment is not the same that Tyre and Sidon is going to have. It will be more tolerable for them on that day than for you. Hell is according to God's justice. And there are people who will be in the worst of the worst of the worst places in hell. If our life, if our hope is just in this life, please listen to me. What you are hearing right now will speak against you on the last day. If you do not listen carefully and take action. There are many churches many pastors who don't take altar call they take seed call they take all kinds of calls but to take altar call they feel is old school they don't take altar call a great man of god reverend dr uma Okai, years ago he died and when he went to heaven he said one of the things the lord accused him for was that he was not serious about the salvation and the soul of men we have taught it here the number one goal of this ministry the number one goal is to seek and save the lost hallelujah there is no level of church sophistication that will stop us from giving opportunity for people to give their heart to the lord jesus christ and i encourage you if you're a man of god in this place and you are neglecting the salvation of souls whether they are healed and they are not born again they are going to hell are you hearing what i'm saying whether they get married and receive breakthroughs whether you raise 100 wheelchairs and they are blessed whether they are delivered from demons they are not born again they are not going to heaven hallelujah praise the lord are you learning something all these that i've said listen all this that I've said is not even the worst part of the story. Should I tell you the worst part? I'm going to tell you the worst part now. The worst part is that hell is not even the permanent place. Hell is a temporal place. The name given to the permanent place is the lake of fire. Follow me. So all those who are in hell are only doing rehearsals. The reason, let me prove to you, listen. Let me prove this to you and don't laugh about this. Demons are not tormented in hell. Satan is not tormented in hell. The official suffering of the lost will start the day Satan joins them. I hope you know. <laughs> that means those who fell in the Red Sea and are in hell, they are still rehearsing till today. Until Satan and death and hell and Hades are cast into the lake of fire, then the meter will start reading. And the gauge is eternity. Some of you used to give tracts before. You have allowed all kinds of misguided revelations to make you feel that the tracts you are giving are not of God. Some of the things written on the tracts are just pure religion. But you can edit it, package it with a kingdom mindset. There are many of you that used to preach to people and talk to people about spiritual things. Now you have become a nice person. Now is the principles of prosperity and we leave people. There are many of our family members. If they die today, the painful thing is you are going to see them in hell. So take what I'm saying very seriously. Because there are more people on their way to hell right now than we can ever imagine. The reality of heaven and hell hell is not the permanent place of judgment for the lost because in hell 
Only lost souls are tormented. Demons are not tormented in hell. Hallelujah. The final place of judgment of Satan alongside everyone that has come into partnership with him is Revelations. It's, in, it's found in Revelations 20, the lake of fire. Let's look at it quickly. Revelations 20. I've listened to a lot of irritating evangelical messages. I will never allow any man of God to climb my pulpit and teach junk and teach nonsense that will not convict people of sin, of righteousness and judgment. I don't care how famous the man is. There, there are many people, hear me. They say we don't want to offend anybody. Um, we don't want to you, 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 look you let people just know just just the love dimension that's the only part it's nice Make, don't hurt people they have feelings really great men fathers of faith Charles G. Finney D.L. Moody these were men that preached with power and conviction when you sat in their meetings and you got born again your born again was genuine there was no hope of backsliding that message will remain in your memory one billion will not erase it but right now there are many christians so-called people who get born again and two days later they have left the things of god because the reason why they came to christ was wrong the gospel was incomplete now there are those who all that they teach is they just threaten people and they make people run and come to salvation only in reaction to fear that is another incomplete gospel are you following me now and when he the spirit of truth is come he will convict you of three things number one of righteousness number two of judgment number three of what of sin sorry and number three of judgment our message is don't convict people of sin i'm not talking of condemnation i'm talking of conviction that will compel people to see the need for change right now somebody will go and sleep around drink around a man of god can go and sleep around and come and climb the stage and he's preaching and we preach messages that make people comfortable with sin very comfortable and they say it does not matter hallelujah we like messages that just cover it they say no no don't don't bring anything please this is a deceit from satan if some of you here are going to have churches hear me let me preach it into your spirit before god gives you members if god gives you members and you do not preach the full gospel including salvation from sin let me tell you god will hold you accountable for the lives of those people hallelujah i rather remain unpopular i rather remain unwanted and stand for the truth of god's word than to tell myself i am going to join what people are doing and what is happening and let people keep rejoicing and wearing nice suits but going to hellfire The priority is on the salvation of our soul let's read it revelations 20 from verse 10 and the devil that deceived them was cast where please read it read it is there one to read was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone stop one day this terrorist called satan will be relocated from where he is and he will go to hell Oh yes, that day will come. The lake of fire is part of God's kingdom. It was created by God himself for the judgment and the punishment of Lucifer. He said, where the beast and the false prophets and who? And who? If you are a false prophet and you are hearing me, repent this night. Prophets that use charms, just all kinds of garbages because they are looking for money and they are looking for ministry expansion some of you are already happy you are mentoring the lives of these people you want to be like them you are waiting 
to go around and you to have your own small church and somebody gives you one kind of nonsense It says they shall be tormented when day and night forever and ever next verse and i saw a great white throne and him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heavens fled away and there was found no place for them verse 12 and i saw the dead whether you are small whether you are great it doesn't matter i saw the dead small and great stand before god i'm going to show you something that defies many messages that preachers have been preaching and the books were open and another book was open which is the book of life don't you let any man of god deceive you that there is no book called the book of life the bible tells us there are books and there is the book and it's called the book of life whoever's name is not found there that person is going to hell and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their according to their is it in your bible is it in your bible next verse and the sea gave up the dead all the people that have died from the red sea and so on and so forth the sea will give them up and death and hell delivered the death that were in them uh oh stop 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 listen the bible says death and hell did what they vomited those who were in them so hell is not just a location but here the bible gives hell the characteristic of a spirit and a living thing because it said hell gave up those who were in it is it in your bible I'm going to show you that hell is not just a place and a location but a spirit thank you jesus and they were judged every man according to their works verse 14 and death and hell were cast where this is the second death the second death is where death what you know today to be death and what you know to be hell will be relocated where what is a lake geography students help us please so that there's no confusion this night what is a lake i can't remember what a lake is what is a lake a body of water surrounded by a body of water that's what it's called lake it's a lake of fire it's not just fire around it's not a gutter of fire it's called what a lake bonds with sulfur bonds with brimstone the last verse 15 and whosoever was not found written into the book of life did what join them automatically whosoever politician pastor apostle prophet eloquent emoji whosoever was not found in the book of life will go to hell please take seriously what i'm saying this is a very very serious message and a wake-up call to the body of christ hallelujah let me show you one more time that death and hell is a spirit revelation 6 verse 7 and 8 this is part one wherever we stop this night revelation 6 and when he had opened the fourth seal there were some seals that were open and you will see the progressions the first thing that happened was that there was a spirit of deception that came upon the body of christ hallelujah and then there were all kinds of death and then there were all kinds of economic disaster and when he had opened the fourth seal i heard the voice of the fourth beast say come and see verse 8 and i looked and i beheld a pale horse and his name that sat on him was what that means death and hell are friends is that in your bible 
because according to this scripture hell was taking a lift in the same horse with death see we are saying it now as if we are playing but this is very serious the bible says he that sat on him was called what and hell followed him and power was given to them that means they were living them many of us are just seeing this for the first time for many of us you are shocked i can see it on your face what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul what does it profit you if you accomplish everything in this life and you become the greatest man of god or businessman or greatest whatever what does it profit you if you give birth to 100 children what does it profit you if the marriage comes and you go to hell? What does it profit you if the job comes and you go to hell? What does it profit you if the healing comes and you go to hell? What does it profit you if the ministry explodes and you go to hell? Hallelujah. I've shown you from scripture that hell is real. Brothers and sisters, please listen to me. Hell is real. Hell is real. Believe it, the earlier the better. The way some of us are living our lives, the way many of us are rejecting the truth of God's word, there is already danger of hell. The way many of our family members are already going, there is danger of hell. Are you passionate about the salvation of your loved ones? There is hell. There is hell. When I speak about heaven, then I will now talk to us. Maybe in part two. The various movements right now. Listen. Let me go ahead of myself a bit to whet your appetite. There have been many, let me tell you the strategy. The Lord opened my eyes to see it. When God started taking people out to heaven and hell to reveal certain things for them, it was on account of his desperation and his love for mankind. Are you hearing me? But like he rightly said, the rich man or Abraham said, he said, even if they come, they will not believe them. Now, when these people started bringing messages, great people like Mary Baxter, Mary Catherine Baxter, 1976, she had an encounter. She went to hell and she went to heaven. And she came back with a very balanced, very biblical view of hell. Today, we have, oh, please listen. I want to go ahead of myself just to challenge us. We have a lot of people who claim they have gone to hell and have come back with many reasons why they said many people were in hell. I read one article, one satanic, demonic article by somebody who said he went to hell and he listed the name of ev almost every man of God that had lived some of you have read it. Is that true? Alongside with those who are alive, that God told them they are going to hell. That is error from the pit of hell. When, when we start the B part, I'm going to show you that the realm of the spirit is not heaven. The realm of the spirit is an atmosphere. There are many planes. Many people did not reach heaven. They were deceived by demons. The Bible says Satan can appear. He can translate himself as an angel of light. Many people saw Satan. They saw demons. They were taken on tourism around planes in the spirit. And they came back with diabolic Satan messages that are putting fear in the body of Christ I'm making every man I will round up this series with a teaching on assurance of salvation so that no devil will come and turn your head 
you can know that you know that you know that you are saved are you hearing what i'm saying people have given all kinds of reasons ah we went to hell and we saw so 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 people because you laughed at a man of god you are in hell no sir uh -uh. the bible does not teach all those kinds of junks because you didn't give offering you went to hell what what kind of rubbish is that the bible says even if an angel comes to preach another gospel let him be accursed even if an angel comes to preach what another gospel that means angels are preaching many people are receiving all kinds of satanic messages hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying there are conditions that take people to hell i've read all kinds of things oh somebody went to hell because they didn't cover their hair other people went to hell because they covered their hair oh, wait for you oh my god i have part part two don't miss part two we will examine the word of god and so there are many people who will hear these messages now and begin to yoke themselves with all kinds of bondage and then there are many loose and careless people who will hear this kind of message and say uh-huh after all it does not matter and be dressing like animals and be behaving as if jesus did not die to bring them into a realm of dignity all we are going to deal with it from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down we will sing of the mercies of the lord i will sing of the mercies of the lord with my mouth shall i make it known from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will see of the mercies of the lord look at me many people have been granted access to go to hell but there are many many books hear me please there are many books if you have never seen a woman in your life i can leave this phone and tell you this is a woman and you will believe is that true but where you have seen a woman if i tell you this is a beautiful woman you will say no this is speaker is that true many people have been deceived in the body of christ there are all kinds of books circulating and now most of these divine revelation books become bestsellers instantly because people buy it so some people have gotten it as a good opportunity for business are you seeing that now cheap business marketing without tears just say i went somewhere and I saw your brother or somebody say you saw him. Yes, I saw him. He said I should come and tell you this red t-shirt you are wearing. You will come to hell. Start wearing only white. And now you see people will go ahead and say they said it as though God left us in the dark about heaven and hell. There is nothing about life after now that was left in the dark. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible is a complete compendium of the truth of God's word. Your encounter of heaven or hell or any book you will read should only confirm and add to your confidence about the reality. It should not be the basis. You cannot give your life to Christ because somebody went to hell and came back alone. As good as that is, your salvation is not founded upon the integrity of the word. When you hear another version, you will switch again. Then you hear another version. Then you switch. At the end of it, you are moving up and down and you are confused. You don't know where to belong again. 
you were eating garlic before now you have stopped you were eating onion you read and they say part of the things they saw in hell was onion now you have stopped one woman hear me years ago she brought one diabolic book and she called me i was there it's not that they told me they said the former pope that was in the book oh, that the former pope was the antichrist they did some kind of horrible calculations and arrived at 666 praise god the pope that has died though they said he was the antichrist and she looked at me and she was advising me this is my auntie now i think she has changed i've not seen her in years praise the lord but this is what she told me she said my son right now she said she doesn't eat meat again she's practicing for the tribulation she said if they lock her somewhere she was being very emotional it didn't make sense to me because i was planning i had gone through a lot in my life god was just helping me to begin to partake of the blessings of the kingdom and i said what kind of frustrating gospel is this hallelujah many prophets came to our homes and tore our homes into two with all kinds of satanic gospels they just came and said your wife is a witch will you let her take you to hell the man said how can i go to hell madam pack your load out of my house if your finger will take you to hell cut it off if your wife who is not cooking for you will, and you're already i want concubine so you find a scripture even my wife will not stop me your wife may let you down get out of my house many madness is going on in the body of christ because people are perverting truth in the name of heaven and hell let me tell you as you are laughing take seriously what i'm saying hallelujah people sow preservation seeds for their salvation oh yes there is what we call battle seed battle seed you drop seed and they intercede for you to make sure you are still in the faith he is risen from the dead he is lord light is shining in the dark let me talk briefly about the reality of heaven let's touch it quickly so that next week we'll take on other issues there are many planes in heaven the sky that you look at is not heaven the bible tells us that at least from scripture we see that there are three levels of what we call heaven the first is what you call your atmosphere your atmosphere isaiah 55 verse 9 and 10 your atmosphere isaiah 55 verse 9 and 10 isaiah 55 verse 9 and 10 hallelujah it says for as the heavens how many heavens did you see s there did you see s after heaven for as what the heavens so there are heavens there's not just a heaven there are heavens but there is what the bible called the heaven of heavens now listen that was an ancient language to show the superiority of something above others king of kings daughter of daughters sinner of sinners are you getting my point now so heaven higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and you know thoughts my thoughts so you can see that there are different levels of heaven the first level is the one you can see we call it your atmosphere the atmosphere where birds fly around you see clouds that's the first level the second plane of heaven that we know is what you may want to call the outer space the outer space where we have the sun the moon the planetary bodies galaxies genesis 1 verse 14 to 17 confirms to us that this plane exists genesis 1 verse 14 to 17. hallelujah 
then there is the third heaven now there are other dimensions i will not begin to talk about it there is the spiritual sphere of heaven i follow me now when when daniel was praying the bible says as gabriel was bringing the message what happened the prince of Persia, the spiritual wickedness that was a plane of heaven where spirits could operate the bible says that the stars fought for deborah are you seeing i'm showing you biblical confirmations wise men from the east they saw these stars job began to speak about all of these stars zodiac atarus and all of these things this is where all these um what they call them stargazers stargazers and astrologers and necromancers all these people they use these kinds of things and they invoke things in the earth realm from these planes of heaven but there is the third heaven the dwelling place of god write it that's the heaven we are talking about the dwelling place of god is also called paradise second corinthians 12 verse 2 to 4 let's look at it very quickly and then we'll just stop and pray so heaven is the dwelling place of god the heaven of heavens now second corinthians 12 verse 2 to 4 it says i knew a man in christ above 14 years ago whether in the body i cannot tell this is paul speaking or whether out of the body i cannot tell god know it it says such a one was caught up to where caught up to where so you can see in the bible there was something called the third heaven that's the heaven of heavens where god himself dwells psalms 11 verse 4 psalms 11 verse 4 hallelujah can we read it one to read the lord is in where his holy temple the lord's throne is where so heaven is where the throne of god is all these things i'm telling you from the bible i'm letting the word of god speak because this is a very sensitive topic it says the lord's throne is in heaven his eyes behold his eyelids try the children of men so his throne heaven is where the throne of god is situated right now right about now heaven is the place where god dwells isaiah 66 verse 1 how are we sure that god dwells in heaven Isaiah 66 verse 1 everyone please read one to read the heaven is my throne and the earth so he said the heaven is where my throne the earth my footstool one last scripture Revelations 21 Sheba Katabala I want to show you something revelations 21 one to read and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no more sea this was talking about the heaven of god coming down to the earth so he called it a new heaven because people had never seen it with their visible eyes a new heaven a new earth the old one that had seas he wiped it away and he said and there was no more sea hallelujah praise the lord do you believe there is a place called heaven do you believe there are people there right now let me tell you there are people there right now i want to bring you a word of comfort listen for everyone here who has ever lost a bereaved member in christ i want you to rejoice this is where they are right now they are listening to koinonia messages right now i tell you the truth they are standing at the corridors of heaven and they are cheering us up the bible says in hebrews chapter 12 speaks about this cloud of witnesses it says seeing then let's project it wherefore seeing then that we are encompassed with what a cloud of witnesses 
weaknesses he said because this great your cousin your mother your father your loved ones you cried and you threw them to the earth but from the moment they stopped breathing they had gone to be with the lord this is the glorious message the bible says comfort one another with these words those who die in christ have only entered a level of rest the bible says paul speaking he said for me to live is christ i know my grandfather is there he lived his whole life preaching this great gospel till he died and his glorious wife who stood close to him to the last drop of her blood many of your loved ones they are hearing me right now from the corridors of heaven i bring you a word of hope there is nothing called too late in this life if any man dies in christ you will see them again and there will be a glorious reunion when all is said and done You will see them again we will stand in the golden city in the new jerusalem and our hopes and all our tears will be no more we will stand with the host of heaven and cry holy is the land we will worship and adore you evermore we will stand in the golden city in the new Jerusalem all our tears and all our sorrows will be no more I will stand with the host of heaven and cry holy is the lamb i will worship and adore him evermore we'll sing it one more time we will stand in the golden city in the new jerusalem and all our tears and all our sorrows will be no more we will stand with the host of heaven we will stand with the host of heaven and cry holy is the lamb i will never forget years ago hear me i had a classmate this guy was a sickler i was in secondary school and this crisis started and it was so bad it got to a point where he was in the hospital a night before he would die listen to me my vice principal called me and he said let's go and visit him the whole class we had prepared to go and visit him the next day and when we got there i looked at him i remember holding his hands they were born triplets only one is alive now i held his hands and i smiled i told him don't worry you will be fine and every time this guy looks at me the next thing he seemed to be distracted with another realm that he was seeing and then he would smile back at me and i was looking at him i was saying ah you know that we are going to come and we will see you and he laughed and i held his hands little did i know that would be the last time in this earth realm i went back by the next day they called me and they said my precious brother was gone but together with him i will stand in the golden city in the new jerusalem when there is no more accident no sickness no cancer i don't know what took the life of your loved ones I bring you a message of hope if they died in Christ they are alive even if they did not die in Christ it is hope for you now to take up the, the mantle of evangelism and tell yourself I will preach to the uttermost this life is vanity vanity upon vanity I announce to you koinonia 
Marriage compared to your eternal salvation is vanity. Ministry is vanity. Every other thing is vanity. Five minutes without breath in your nostril and you appear in that glorious place or a place of torment. Five minutes, whether in the sick bed or whatever it is. But will you be crying, holy, holy is the Lord? Or will you be languishing? Will you be crying? There are many people who are too busy for God right now. They are too busy for the things of God. They are busy looking for money. Busy looking for husband. Busy looking for wife. Busy looking for open doors in ministry. Can I tell you something, brothers and sisters? If our hope is only in this life, I announce to you again, our hope, we are of all men most miserable but there is a glorious message and this is the crux of salvation that any man that dies in Christ any man begin to think of all your loved ones that died in Christ I want you to know that right from the deathbed there were angels that came to take them you were only mourning a corpse the real person went into a place of glory and splendor where there is no more night yonder place where the lights are shining bright jesus christ will make all things all right in his time he'll really make me see otherwise it really wouldn't be right He's gonna put all my heart to rest. He's gonna put all my heart. Yes, he will put your heart to rest. This is a song of prophecy to you. He released me and directs me. In the city of above, no more crying, no more night. There'll be no weeping on that day. Darkness rolled away, no more sorrow. In that city of above, no more night. No more night in that city, no more night. No more night in that city, no more night. Yes, it will happen. The sun will no more give me sunlight by day. The moon will no more give me the moonlight by day. Jehovah will be my everlasting light. He'll be my glory, my strength, and my sight. The light of the moon will be. The sun will shine seven times as bright When Yahweh binds all the wounds of His world Heals all the wounds He sees Fixed by this world Hallelujah I'll sing you one more time I want you to enter your spirit Listen The sun will no more give you sunlight by The sun will no longer give us light. The moon will not give us light. The presence of I am himself 
we light that city the bible says the light of the moon will be like that of the sun i tell you this song is very powerful can i sing it one more time sun will no more give me sunlight by day in that city the moon will no more give me come there will be no more crying a day will come no politician will cause trouble in the world again but it is only those who are in Christ who will appear in heaven hear me I'm still going to make an altar call this is an altar call by revelation right now No more night, no more night in that city, no more night, no more night in that city, no more night, no more night in that city. Listen, Adam never knew how old he was because he never saw night. The first night Adam saw was outside the Garden of Eden. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, the life that you are living was a loan that was given to you by God. And the way you live your life in this earth realm will determine your life after here. At the end of Paul's life, he said, I have fought. How did he put it? I have fought the good fight of faith. He said, now therein lies for me a crown brothers and sisters let me tell you you know the reason why I do all that I do with passion because I know one day I will stand before his majesty and he will look at me he will say Joshua Selman I gave you a measure of grace and he will say well done thou good and faithful servant enter thou into my rest hallelujah Rise up on your feet, everybody. Listen to me. There are some of you here. Listen. When you started out with God, you used to produce tracts. Some of you, when you started out on Facebook, you used to use it for evangelism. But right now, you have turned it into something else. I want you to return back the ministry of soul winning are you hearing what i'm saying do not sit down and look at people this ministry e and i started on the wings of evangelism pastors never take lightly the issue of turning many to righteousness the bible says in daniel chapter 12 verse 3 he said and they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness they shall shine as the stars even forevermore daniel 12 verse 3. we are going to pray three prayer points very quickly the first prayer point is a prayer of repentance this is not whether you are born again or not you're going to say lord i've been living my life as if I have the master key to my life but right now I make up my mind to focus on the things that really matter lift your voice and begin to pray the way many of us have been living our lives the Bible says the prodigal son spent all he had on riotous living lift your voice and pray say Lord I know that life is a privilege life is a privilege 
Life is a privilege. Life is a privilege. Life is a privilege. From today, I live my life as though I would give account of it. Stop living your life anyhow. Nobody may see you. But let me tell you something. You will stand before God. There is a place called heaven. There is a place called hell. There are people there right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Please, in the next one minute, I'd like you to pray for all your loved ones that you know. You know they are on their way to hell. There is no doubt about it. Lift your voice and say, Lord, mercy. Please, mercy. Your father, your mother, your brothers, your sisters. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, I know that the way they are going, they are on the highway to hellfire. Have mercy, oh God. Visit them through dreams, through visions, through encounters. Visit them. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Say, Lord, arrest them. Arrest them. Lead them to meetings. Connect them to TV programs. He that winneth souls is wise. Say, Lord, I take the issue of salvation seriously. There are people going to hell. There are intellectuals going to hell. There are professors on their way to hell. There are medical doctors on their way to hell. There are many good people, very good people, but they are on their way to hell. There are many kind people. There are many of our neighbors, classmates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point the last prayer point the bible says we will talk about it next week it said examine yourself to see if you are still in the faith can i tell you something i would i would we are going to talk about it next week whether a man can lose his salvation or not let me tell you straight to the point a man can lose his salvation are you hearing what i'm saying but i will tell you the conditions but a man the Bible says those who were once in Christ who have tasted of the powers of the ages to come if they now turn aside from God how bad is their judgment there is a man in scripture called Demas have you read about that man a man called Demas that started in the faith but he derailed I'm not talking of backsliding I'm talking of getting out of the faith completely realize hear me my entire life changed the day it dawned on me that there is the all-seeing eyes the power of darkness release our land will never prevail will never these were songs that we used to sing with power let me tell you those who wrote these songs were not looking for money light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining Jesus light of the world shine upon us set us free by the truth you now bring us shine on me shine on me shine shine fill this land with your father's glory place spirit place set our hearts on fire flow river flow flood the nations with grace and mercy 
send forth your word lord and let there be light listen give me one more minute and we're out i'm going to make an altar call again i don't care whether you have been preaching for 100 years listen if you know that you know that if the trumpet of god sounds this night right now you are not going to heaven look let me tell you don't pretend it i know you have done evangelism you may even be praying in tongues if you know that if the trumpet of god sounds right now you are not going to you can fake it you can fake it but let me tell you something every sign that needs to happen for the coming of jesus has happened right now we are only waiting the last sign is what is going on now this gospel of the kingdom outside especially there are many of you standing i want you to run right now and come and go on your knees here everybody whoever knows that if jesus comes now don't wait for anybody to come you are the first person leave your seat and run if you are still sitting go back to your seat please we are very serious this night come and kneel down here and just begin to talk to the lord forget about anybody who is here forget about your friend your boyfriend your girlfriend your children outside i want you to run and come we are out of time begin to cry unto god with a passion with a passion i give you my soul with a passion if there is no space there is space on the altar you must find space this is your night of salvation there must be space for you don't sit back there as the holy ghost is speaking to you you may be a prayer coordinator you may be a pastor i'm not asking you if you're a pastor only for you one more time. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I truly live for you. To cry unto God, those of you kneeling down, start crying unto God. Say, My Father, you died for me, have mercy on me. This is my desire. Just listen to me, cry out your heart to God to honor you with your body with your mind Lord with it all my heart tonight is the night to end that lifestyle tonight is the night to end it all that I have within me Lord I Everybody in this auditorium, join them as we cry. Say, Lord, enough is enough. Those of you kneeling down, say, Lord, I truly come with a broken heart. I'm tired of telling lies. I'm tired of pretending. 
I don't want to miss heaven. I don't want to spend eternity in hell. Cry out your heart to God. Yes, Lord, I pledge my life. I pledge allegiance that I will live for you. Relationship will not take me to hell. Immorality will not take me to hell. Drunkenness will not take me to hell. Fashion will not take me to hell. Cry unto the Lord. Secret lives that don't bless God. Now is the time to tell God it's over. You can do things that no man sees, but a day will come. We will stand before the white throne of God. I announce to you what you are hearing this night is the message. Don't let it stand against you. God is merciful. Don't feel condemned. He will not condemn you. There is always mercy and grace. But be convicted enough. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Let me pray for you. There are many of you crying. Let me tell you, these tears are expressions in your spirit. Some of you have tried and tried, but this night, Jesus, the judge of all the earth, brings you rest. He said, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest from your struggles. I want you to know you can find true rest. You can find true rest. All of you that are kneeling down, never forget this day for the rest of your life. I'd like you to say, Jesus, have mercy on me. I'm tired of living the life that does not please you. I want to live a meaningful life serving you in this life. And I want to be with you in heaven. Therefore, this night, whatever will stop me from making heaven, take it out of my life. Take it out of my life. I break free from wrong associations. Many of you, when you go back home, break all those pornographic CDs into pieces. Set them on fire and watch it burn scramble those devilish channels that keep preparing you to go to hell all those pictures and those satanic sites on facebook all those wrong videos on youtube now is the time to make a decision don't say it does not matter don't say it does not matter go and open new facebook sites and advocate for jesus go and open sites Go and begin to talk to your loved ones. Go and make drugs. You don't need to have a ministry. You can make it. Take your 5,000. Make drugs with it. Go and drop it in the restaurant. The least that you do for the kingdom will be rewarded. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Let me pray. Father, your word has come expressly. I pray. I pray that this will not just be an emotional activity I pray spirit of the living God quicken these ones that from today and for the rest of their life they will never go back to Satan they will never go back to sin they will never go back to the way of death father I pray that you write their names in the book of life let there never be an occasion that should the trumpet sound, oh God, 
that they will not miss rapture may they remain rapturable therefore i pray for you all the wrong friends and associations that keep leading you back to sin and the ways of death i separate you from them forever in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you please rise up follow the ushers they will write your name i will also come not just pastor jake i will be there tomorrow to make sure that we have some time of follow-up i will be there personally with pastor jakes and we're going to be talking to you please follow the ushers they'll just have your details hallelujah celebrate jesus for what he's doing hallelujah five minutes and we're out of here hallelujah please invite all your friends what i'm about to share with you next week is very pivotal we're going to take part two of the reality of heaven and hell hallelujah the reality of heaven and hell part two we'll take it next week and i'll be sharing with you certain personal revelations that god has given me hallelujah if you're worshiping with us for the first time everybody please keep standing we're leaving now if this is your first time of worshiping with us in koinonia please leave your seat and come everybody appreciate them as they come we love you we celebrate you the lord brought you here by his power don't wait for anybody to confess you are the first person hallelujah keep coming clap for them koinonia god bless you god bless you thank you thank you for coming god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you there are still more coming young and old god bless you god brought you outside keep coming god bless you thank you hallelujah hallelujah now this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international god bless you keep coming thank you so much we're here every friday exploring the principles of the kingdom i trust god that your life will never be the same hallelujah we want to pray and speak over your life and i want you to receive it right now stretch your hands saints of god as we prophesy we declare in the name of jesus that you will live meaningful kingdom lives here in the earth realm and that you will make heaven thank you mama for coming thank you god bless you thank you for coming thank you everyone for coming we bless you we bless you with the blessings of god we bless you with the blessings of the heavens hallelujah praise the lord father thank you you brought these ones preserve them preserve them and bless them give them a hunger for spiritual things to the glory of your name in the name of jesus please i'd like you to follow the ushers they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more on our behalf god bless you thank you so much appreciate them hallelujah praise the lord please if you do not have this these are our evangelical materials jesus exalted as both lord and christ and there are many other scriptures please give as many people is free you can pick up one with the ushers hallelujah booking for counseling starts mondays and then it ends sunday by 9 p.m so you are booking for counseling please immediately after the grace just wait here and book with the with the protocol free bus transport is available after the meeting those going to shika and congo please just stand at the projector stand outside hallelujah please take advantage of our official lines there are many people complaining that they call us and they call us and we're not picking listen let me tell you the truth you don't want to know how busy we just returned from zamfara today hallelujah in the last one month i've been traveling almost weekly hallelujah i have not rested as you see i have not really taken out time to do any quality rest so sometimes my phone right now has been ringing you will see probably up to hundreds of calls we are not available all the time to be picking calls like that take advantage of the protocol lines invitations for ministration invitations for counseling invitation or to make inquiries for messages if you call our lines and we don't pick just send an sms and be patient we will respond to you hallelujah praise the lord please don't call me in the night except it's an emergency i don't do night call i don't have the luxury for night call praise god hallelujah october celebrants immediately after the cake please come and stand here you receive a piece it's your cake hallelujah it's your cake make sure you get it hallelujah all missing items are with the ushers if your item is missing 
please meet the ushers they will give it to you and then you will be able to get it this message and all our other messages are available at the media stand for free you can get it immediately after the service you can meet them they will give it to you hallelujah invite your friends and loved ones to join us on facebook on twitter and um, our youtube page i don't know how well we are on with that page but is available and invite as many you'll be here next week in the name of jesus christ hallelujah lift your hands and bless the lord for tonight say lord i thank you for your word thank him for the communion you will never be the same Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.